this one right here, that's what we have on here is a okay. spinning hub. Uh -huh. On the new one, we went to a small uh, housing for your bearings. Uh -huh. So the bearings are, are stationary and the axle spins. Mm -hmm. So that put the, the hot section up here, the axle goes through the spindle, and then you have the uh, you have this coil down in this section at mm -hmm. the other end of the, the axle. So it's a little different, but okay. it does the same thing. Okay. This is the original design, and you can you can do it either way, but the new design is actually a little better. I've designed the oil galleys a little differently, so the oil ends up cooling the coils better. Okay, okay. The diameter will actually give you a square of power, okay. whereas the, the number of plates is just additive. Okay, that's, I should have said it that way. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, you know, you have your... It's actually a, a fulcrum from here to here, so as you go farther out, you get a squaring effect of power. And is there a value in multiple inlet ports? Or, yeah. Okay, activated. Well, what we found out is that there's an ideal nozzle diameter mm -hmm. where you'll get the most power for whatever gas you're... And once a gas goes through that nozzle, it comes out at supersonic speed. You don't want to increase the the diameter of the of your port to get more power, but that's usually how people do it. Okay. You'll get more power, but you get more losses. Okay. There's an ideal diameter for each one of these. Uh, I've got it written down somewhere, but it, it's actually in the plans. The okay. I, the ideal diameter is in the plans for one port. Okay. Now, like you're saying, if you want more power, you don't want to open up the port bigger. Right. You want multiple ports. Right. And you turn on and off multiple ports at the ideal inlet diameter. Okay. For your highest efficiency. Okay. Most of the time, people just open up the port to get raw power. But they also have a lot of losses that way, if you do it that way. So people have... Nobody's really fine-tuned this engine with multiple ports. In my designs, I've already gone through uh, designs on multiple ports, and that's how I do it. Okay, okay, good, very good. Because it's really easy to turn gas on and off, because you're just turning uh, a simple solenoid gas switch on and off. Mm -hmm. Because the, the speed of the gas is in the nozzle, not in the switch. Yeah. When it goes through your nozzle, that's where you gain the supersonic speed as, as your, say, 150 PSI is really ideal. As that comes out of your nozzle, it begins to break the sound barrier. You multiply your speed at that point. And what would you say, based on this design, is the minimum pressure just to, to get it started? Just to Well, it depends. Like... Uh, we're, what we work with on these is, uh, you know, we have a very, very strong magnet system. So you can tell right here, when it's at rest, you can actually feel, you can feel the grabbing of your, mm -hmm. your magnets. Mm -hmm. So your startup is the problem. When it's at rest, it's really hard to get that going because your magnets are grabbing, but once you break that, now it's really easy. You can feel how easy okay, it is to uh -huh. freewheel. Okay. But on the startup, when those magnets are grabbing, it's sort of like an airplane again. Yeah, yeah, okay, you okay. Have, yeah. You have an infinity of horsepower when an airplane is yeah. starting up, but yeah. once it begins to roll, you've broken that, that bond to the earth, you could say. Okay. Same is true here. When it's at rest, it's really difficult. You can feel it's really hard to break that bond. Yep. Once you get it to spin, it's really easy.